And of all the regions we spoke about, we also touched on the dynamics for the right. NDC. So North so East, Northern region, with the Ashanti region, Ashanti, a greater, Accra, greater Accra region. Right. Right. And now we're just going to be teasing out the topical things we believe that if the NDC is to win this year's elections, right. they need to pay particular attention to. Mm. And top of the list will be the fact that they need to increase their fortunes in the Ashanti region. We've heard Musa Dankwa talk about the fact that it will be difficult for the MPP to make the 80% and 85% they are right. promising. Mm. However, it's also difficult for the NDC to cross above 35, 30, 35 into the 35% mm. mark they are hoping for themselves. So they need to at least push through above 28%, mm. which is their best showing. If you compare uh, the last election cycles, I think their best showing was 28, uh, it was a 29% right. that 29%. they got. That was in like 2008, mm -hmm. you know. So it tells that the NDC can actually go past the 30% mark. Maybe not hit 35, but they can go past the 30% mark. And also improve and maintain their performance in the greater Accra region. Mm -hmm. Clearly, if the 2020 elections is anything to go by, they managed to win the greater Accra region. It meant that they won majority of the popular votes. However, things didn't go according to their plan for right. the national right. election. So it's one Which of the Which was abnormal pay, since pay 1992. Absolutely. Absolutely abnormal. One of the outliers of mm. our electoral cycles. Central region, they must win. He, 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 he well, let's take a bit of the greater Accra region. Right. I mean, if the NDC has to improve and maintain their performance in the greater Accra region, it, it goes without saying that then they have to be doing extra than what they already did in 2020. Mm. Yes. Which means that yeah. in 2024, people now have become much more sophisticated. People have become much more awakened. People have become much more aware of the issues. People now are, uh, have access to media and they are ventilating their issues. People now have mm. social media. and they are talking about things that matter to them. So the NDC, beyond the talk, beyond the fact that, oh, and you speak to some of them, they tell you people are clamoring for change. So yeah. instead of, of December, 7th of December, they change their minds. Yeah. So in terms of maintaining their performance, which means that they're holding on to 20 seats and then they be holding on to 14 mm. seats, they would have to maintain it and, and not just maintain, maybe improved and get some more seats Certainly because must if internal, internal wranglings continue on the side of the opposition, mm. then that will be an advantage for them. However, if they also leave uh, their focus on the ball and focus on internal wranglings, they will be in trouble. Yeah, and I like the fact that even during their primaries, a number of constituencies, NDC had to suspend the primaries right. because of the internal right. issues they had. Mm. They, from all indications, have been able to mend those cracks. Mm. As to whether they use sellotape or glue, we can't we tell. We don't know. But they've managed to hold their own together mm. and are likely to pray that those people mm. would come out in their mm. numbers to vote. One observation we have made having followed and preparing for this year's election is right. that voter turnout is likely to increase mm. because of how people have, like you're indicating, especially in the greater Accra, right. expressed themselves. Mm. The number of demonstrations that we've counted, the number of topical issues in the, and the cosmopolitan nature of the greater That's Accra right. region gives the indication that people actually want to express themselves mm. through the ballot. So we are likely that, that out of the 3.7 million registered voters in Accra, we are inching closer to maybe more than 80% voter turnout. They have to win the central region, mm -hmm. which is a giving, which is a must, because then that would put a feather in the cap of Professor Jenna Nopokwajiman. That will also go back to eulogize Professor John Evans Atemos, who's a son of the soil. Mm. That will go to eulogize the Ahoy brothers, who are also from that part of that town. That will also go back to the NDC's roots. And in, in the, the former vice president right. as yes, well. In, in the central region, Kong Kensinaka, uh, uh, all of them from the central region. Mm. But you know that in the central region, there are, right. there are forces to reckon with. Alexander Afenyo marking in the Futu constituency, yeah. a big force to reckon with. Yeah. Maybe it's how it comes in a big force to reckon with. Mm. Um, you have uh, four constituencies that have never been a go area for, for the NDC. Um, Felix Ofusu Kwati's constituency, yeah, Sebu. Yes, no, they do, it did not go for Brim, it's Feda, Feda, but this is Sebu around the Yamransa area. Yeah. I mean, that's a seat that the NDC is hoping to grab, but pff, it looks like it, yeah. it's going to be a tall order. Maybe a quick they will, dash to they will have to improve or maintain their momentum in the Western region. Mm -hmm. The Western region has been voting blue. However, in the last election, you saw NDC win seven of the seats, yeah. NPP got 10 of the seats. If that performance continues and they get 
even the same seven or move on to get eight or nine, it means that the MPP will be shaking because now the Western region, after the Western North region was carved out of it, doesn't no longer look like a safe, mm. safe seat mm. for. Now, maintain dominance in Upper East and Upper West region. Mm -hmm. There are 15 seats in the Upper East region and then there are 11 seats in the Upper West region. The NDC won all the seats in the Upper East and Upper West region. Mm. However, Nandom is a constituency that the NDC has to look out for because it's a keenly contested constituency. Mm. And finally, they have to mitigate the losses in the North and the Northeast region. We spoke about this, yeah, you know, 